Hi, and welcome to our P6 video tutorial series. Before we jump into the tutorial, let's first get a basic understanding of what the work breakdown structure is. The work breakdown structure simply takes activities and puts them into certain categories, allowing for better organization. The work breakdown structure is built in levels that allows you to better report and manage the detail on those activities. In the image picture, our first level that we have is our project, our second level that we have is our department, and our third level that we have is our disciplines. Now, let's take a look at navigating through the work breakdown structure. For this tutorial video, we're gonna be looking at navigating in our WBS in P6. In order to get to the WBS, after we open our project, and we can just click on this little icon right here to open this screen. If we click on the plus sign, then we can see all of the WBS elements that we have added currently to the project that we're in. Building out the WBS helps create a landing space for our activities to go. So if we switch over to our activity screen, which we can access by clicking on this little icon here, we can see these WBS elements that we've added and we can see the activities underneath each one. In order to make changes to the WBS, we cannot do it within this screen. It can only be done within this WBS element grid. So if we expand what we have, we can see everything that we have added. So our number one WBS element that we have at the very top is always going to be the project that we're in. Underneath that, our second level of the WBS that we see here would be our major milestones. We have design, purchasing, and then construction. And then our third WBS elements that we have, our third level of elements would fall under each one. So we have our civil and foundation design, which is underneath our design element right here. So what we'll see is as we're adding in these WBS elements, whatever we are selected on when we add an element, it's going to go to a level underneath that and create a parent to child relationship. So for example, if we click on major milestones and there are multiple ways to add in these elements, we can right click, select add. We can also click on the plus sign up here or you can select insert on your keyboard. So if we click add up here, we see that we have an element that was added in. This would be a third level WBS element that's added underneath our major milestones. We don't have to worry about typing in this code value right here. It's automatically going to copy that down. So let's just say we type in one, two, three and enter. Then we see our code structure right here. We have our project one, we have our milestones, and then we have the one, two, three code that we just added in. To delete this out, again, there's several ways to do that. We can either select delete on our keyboard, we can right click and select delete, or we can click the red X located over here. Also, when adding in new elements, we are able to shift them around within the WBS. So let's say that we add in another one underneath our major milestones. I'm going to select the plus sign up here on the right. If we wanted this one to be a second level instead of a third level, then we can move this over again. We can use a few different methods to move it over. So notice on this side over here, we have these arrow keys. And so our only option that we have right now is to move that to the left. So we could click that. Once we move that to the left, notice we have other options that open back up, like we could kick it back to the right, or we could move it up and down throughout the WBS. Another way that we can move these items around is by holding control on your keyboard and then using the arrow keys to move that around. 
So I'm holding control and just moving it around within the WBS. So let's delete this one. So let's say right now we have our major milestones, we have design, we have purchasing, and we have construction, but I'd like to add one in for engineering. So to add one in, again, multiple ways that we can add it in, but we want this one to be a second level WBS element. So if I were to select this construction right here and add it in, it would automatically add it in as a third level WBS element underneath construction. So what we can do is we can click on our project up here. We can click the add button. And so we see when we look at the level that it's at, it's been added in as a second level WBS element because we were highlighted on this project up here, which is our first level. So for this one, it's going to be engineering. So we're gonna do E and G for our code. We can press enter and then we can tab over and type in engineering. We'd like to add in the same elements that we have underneath design. So that would be our civil and foundation design or civil and foundation, structural, and then paint and hardware. So to do that, we're highlighted on engineering. We need to add in three different items. So notice if we just click the plus sign up here three times, what's going to happen. Remember, it's going to create that parent to child relationship based on whatever you are selected on. So what we could do here is we could kick each one of these over because we want all of these to be level three underneath engineering. So we could use the arrow key to kick that one over. And so now we see that we have all of these under engineering as level three. I'm gonna delete these out because there's another way to do it. So what we could do here that makes it a little bit quicker without having to use uh, those arrow keys to move it over is we are selected on engineering and I'm gonna keep my mouse hovered right over that. I'm gonna click the insert button on my keyboard. My mouse is still selected over engineering. So I'm gonna click it again and then insert. And then one more time, click it again and then insert. And so now I've added in three elements underneath that that are all at that third level that we want it to be without having to use the arrow keys to shift it over. So for the code, remember we don't have to retype anything. It's going to automatically create that code path for us. So we're gonna have CVF. We can arrow down to the next one. This will be STR and then arrow down to the next one. This will be PTH. So this one right here will be civil and foundation. Press enter, arrow down. This one is structural. Press enter, arrow down. And then this one is paint and hardware. So now we've added in a new WBS element that is level two with our three items underneath it that are all at level three. So if we go into our activities view to look at it, let's see. Notice we only see those three that we had to begin with, the design, purchasing, construction. In this case, what most likely happened is that in our group and sort, we have the hide if empty checked. So let's go look at that. So this box right here, if it's selected, it will hide any element that we have there that doesn't have any activities added underneath it. So if we check that box and click apply and then OK. Now what we see is that new element that we've added in the engineering 
along with those three items added in underneath. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more tutorials.